what's up guys? Jeff here with Godbolt Exotics. I'm here again with uh, Ryan Wallison and we're gonna do a quick little bonus episode on some pancake tortoises because Ryan has been known to produce those. He seems to do it every year. So I thought I'd pick his brain. I love tortoises. I just don't know a whole lot about them. Uh, something different, actually. I've never done a uh, tortoise episode. No tortoises, huh? No, no turtles, no tortoises, yeah. anything. So yeah. this is gonna be this is gonna be different. Mix it up. So Ryan, uh, what attracted you to pancake tortoises? Uh, well, actually, one of my good friends back in Ohio, I'm originally from Ohio, he actually breeds them like crazy, really. Name of uh, Ron Hatcher, and so these are actually his stock, his animals. Come here, dude. Um, and so they've just always been really personable and just really kind of unique. Uh, they're known for getting in rock crevices, kind of blowing up like a balloon so that animals, predators can't wedge them out of there and eat them. Oh, I um, love that. So the cool thing about them is if you look at the bottom, they're actually kind of soft here. Where normally a, a tortoise would be hard, they're actually soft. Oh, wow. So it kind of helps them. So they cruise into a little crack or crevice, you know, and puff up with air and then they can't get pulled out by a predator but uh so that's kind of like i guess one of their defense mechanisms but yeah they're you know, super flat like you wouldn't realize it until you actually get up close and like handle one yeah uh yeah. sorry I, i'm totally enamored with this one that's eating grass i don't know why i find that so cool yeah this one's actually the female right here oh it is yeah so she's she, really kind of pretty she you produce these every year then right um i just kind of started producing them um so they're just kind of coming into that breeding age. And uh, I've gotten, let's see, four eggs out of them. And uh, I'm always hitting up my buddy Ron to make sure I'm doing it right. But um, I do have a little baby and we can show you that kiddo. Yeah, let's see the baby. Yeah, it's a little bit of a size difference. Oh, wow. <laughs> but it's kind of cool because it has similar pattern to mom and stuff. So Oh my really gosh, pretty. Yeah. that is so cool. But yeah, everyone likes that one. It's kind of funny, uh, likes to hiss. But these guys, um, depending on your temperature, you can incubate them for male or female. And uh, so try to incubate this guy, or uh, girl, <laughs> at uh, <laughs> well, there. female's temp. She's so. just like running over. Yeah. So what did you incubate this one for? Um, that one incubated for female, so. And what, what temperature was that? That, um, it's like 84. 84 degrees yeah yeah these guys are movers <laughs> yeah they're like get me out of here this goofy guy with the camera is after me each one's a little different like so it's a different a it's different a different look. color like he's like more dark and she's kind of more of a like yeah a this so this one's color. a male this one's a female the female okay. is a little darker kind of has almost like a little star pattern on it really nice very so, very cool but uh you know everyone always says oh is it a male is it a female you know it's hard to tell but when they get older you can kind of if you look at these two heads of them the uh the male has a little wider head it's a little which is bigger which so is the a... males on the right here okay and then if you flip them over you can tell as well yeah because how the, short the, this female the on the tail left. right yeah. here look how long yeah. it is so my left your right but yeah if you look at the tail length there's a quite a difference oh yeah so it's not very and you know it's one of those things where as they get older it's it's more you know noticeable you than can when totally they're younger. see his yeah his yeah. is very long yep. now do they have a curved um th is it curve up right here i don't know what this is called what is that oh called? right the um the plasteron okay yeah, yeah the plasteron yeah so since these guys have real soft shells they don't actually have an indent on oh, the bottom okay. so normally they would have an indent like you're saying um so that you know they would be able to get on be on top of the female here without any problems but right no these guys are so flat and um you know like i said their shells are so pliable they actually are really easily you know they don't have problems like some others do so um if you're gonna if you're gonna tell the, re the viewers like what size cage and everything they should keep right. them in what would you suggest oh i mean i think one of the things, especially with tortoises, you know, bigger is better. Um, and so I keep mine in about 36 um, wide exoterra. They don't need a lot of height. Although with these guys, you have to be extremely careful. They will climb. I've had them get out of the outdoor enclosures that I had them out in during the day. And I mean, they were literally, if they find a corner, they will crawl right up like this brick 
if there was a corner here on this brick, they would crawl right up the side of that. Wow. And so you have to really make sure that either you have a lid on it or um, something along the lines in the corner so they can't get out. So that's one of the things to definitely watch for. But, you know, as far as you're asking about enclosure, you know, they don't need a ton of height. They are used to climbing into little crevices and so on. But, um, but yeah, 36, I think, um, maybe 12 high or um, something, maybe 18 high even. And maybe sta work. like stack some like yeah, slate that's right. like yep. right, yep. right there. It gives them some little spots to hide. That's so cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, they're definitely really, really personable. I, um, I pull them out and feed them in separate tubs um, just to kind of monitor them. And uh, it actually kind of helps me with my cages. I don't have to constantly be cleaning them all the time right. because they go in the tubs when they are eating. So, yeah, works pretty well. You guys been watching Godbold Exotics. We were just talking about some pancake tortoises, uh, really cool animals. If you're interested in any, you know, you can reach out to Ryan on Facebook. You can hit him up, uh, Ryan Wallison or... Reptiles Wild. Reptiles with an S. Yep. Reptiles Wild. Awesome. Pancake tortoises. Very, very cool. If you guys want, you can reach out to me through email, gobbledexotics at gmail.com. You can hit me up on Facebook, or on my website, or on Instagram. If you really want to support the channel and you want to see some exclusive content, make sure you head on over to Patreon. We could really use the support and we appreciate it. You guys take care and until next time you've been watching Godwald Exotics. And if you really want to support the cage or uh... So what uh what attracted you to uh hold on. <laughs> There's a the police is coming for the Popo? <laughs> Damn it. Alright. Hey, dude, come here. I'm still filming. Yes. All right, it's cool the one on the left has a little bit different, uh, like the shell is a little bit, you call it a shell, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All the tourist people are gonna be like, this guy's an idiot!